Tucker Carlson, one of the most vile men in America, has been fired by Fox News. And while we can all celebrate that, it's at least a little bit of a mystery because he remains their number one ratings draw. So let's take a look at the three big reasons why Fox parted with its top star. And by the way, if you hit subscribe before we do, we'd really appreciate it. I don't think I need to explain to anyone Tucker Carlson's disgusting track record of racism, misogyny, conspiracy theories, and lies, but... In case you missed it, here's what went down today. Fox News announcing in the last hour, Tucker Carlson is out, effective immediately. Fox releasing a statement reading in part that Fox News Media and Tucker Carlson have agreed to part ways. We thank him for his service to the network as a host and prior to that as a contributor. Mr. Carlson's last program was Friday, April 21st. The first major reason that Tucker was probably a dead man walking is that ever since the Trump criminal charges, Fox News has been rallying back to Donald Trump's side. After 2020, inside Fox News, they were done with Trump. Rupert Murdoch actually sent an email in which he said that he thought Donald Trump was going increasingly mad, which is the Australian way of saying he's going batshit crazy. So Fox went shopping for a Trump alternative that they could sell to their gawping fans. And they found one in Ron DeSantis. Things got so hot and heavy between Fox and DeSantis that like a jilted lover, Donald Trump started complaining about their PDA. He actually posted on Truth Social that Fox has been promoting Ron so hard and so much, there's not much time left for real news. What real news on Fox, Donald? But then a funny thing happened. When Trump was arrested, Fox found their Trump religion again and realized that what their viewers wanted was more Trump smooching. We know from the text messages revealed in the Dominion lawsuit that Rupert Murdoch was very afraid of anything that would drive a wedge between Fox News and Donald Trump that their competitors like Newsmax could exploit. Now, Murdoch and others were all complicit in this as well, talking about how they were afraid of a Newsmax competitor and how bad it would be if Trump and Newsmax became aligned and Fox got left behind and how even though he... Um, you know, hated Trump, uh, Tucker Carlson did, that there was this pressure to still do Trumpism on the show. That's also why these texts revealed in the Dominion lawsuit about what Tucker Carlson said were so strategically damaging for Fox. New internal communications from some of Fox News' most prominent figures show concerns and misgivings some had about then-President Donald Trump's claims. According to court documents, host Tucker Carlson texted a producer on January 4th, 2021 just two days before the Capitol attack. We are very, very close to being able to ignore Trump most nights. The conversation continues. Referring to Trump, Carlson says, I hate him passionately. I can't handle much more of this. The private communications from Carlson are a sharp contrast to his public support for the former president as seen on his program that night. Fox News knows they're going to have to start kissing Donald Trump's ass again. They can't have their number one star saying that they passionately hate him. That's the kind of thing that would get rebroadcast over and over again by your enemies, Democrats, Newsmax, us. Not to mention that you know how forgiving Donald Trump is of his enemies. They have to get right with their ex right now. So Tucker had to go. Reason number two. We also know, courtesy of the Dominion lawsuit, that Tucker Carlson had been bad-mouthing Fox News executives. Do the executives understand how much credibility and trust we lost with our audience? Those bleepers are destroying our credibility. A combination of incompetent liberals and top leadership with too much pride to back down is what's happening. It's actually pretty commonplace in media for executives to want to send a message to any talent that thinks they're too big to be fired that they're wrong. If you're part of the reason that your company has to pay almost $800 million, and we'll get to more of that in a second, and you're asking them to keep going to bat for you, again, more in a second, it's pretty rich to be biting the hand that's feeding you by calling them morons. Of course, we all know that Tucker has a habit of getting too big for his britches and getting taken down. The most famous example, of course, being Jon Stewart in 2004 when he was on CNN. Special effort to come on the show today because I have mentioned uh, this show as being uh, uh, bad. <laughs> it's not so much that it's bad as it's hurting America. <laughs> So I, I wanted to but come here today let me, and say, wait, wait, no, I just, let me, here, here, here's just one, what I wanted to tell you guys. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> stop, 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 stop hurting America. Okay. I watch your show every day and it kills me. I can tell you what. It's it. so, oh, it's so painful to watch. Your partisan, um, what do you call it, uh, hacks. Wait, John, wait, like, let me, let me, you have a responsibility to the public discourse. 
and you, you fail need to get a job at a miserably. I think you're a good comedian. I think your lectures are boring. You you're on CNN. Say. My, the show that leads into me is puppets making crank phone calls. <laughs> what is wrong with you? It's someone who watches your show and cannot take it anymore. I just can't you need fail to get a job at a miserably. School, I think you need to go to one. Now this is theater. I mean, it's it's it obvious. Is, no, no, it How old are you? Thirty-five. And you wear a bow tie. Yeah, I do. I do. So, I hate to say at all. I, I, mean, I do think you're more fun on your show. Uh, just my opinion. But can, can okay, you just Sex, John Stewart goes, what you know I want to say fans. You're as big a dick on your show question. as you are on any show. This is no different. Reason number three, well, I hinted at this a moment ago. It's not just that he's a major reason for the company having to shell out $800 million for lying and defaming Dominion, but they've got a lot more legal trouble ahead. Fox News just settled one mammoth defamation lawsuit, but an even bigger and potentially more damaging case looms. The conservative news network, which shelled out nearly $788 million to Dominion Voting Systems for allegedly airing false claims that Dominion helped rig the 2020 U.S. presidential election, now faces a $2.7 billion lawsuit from another voting technology company, Smartmatic USA, which also claims Fox knowingly spread false information that its equipment was used to flip votes in favor of now President Joe Biden. Smartmatic is seeking billions in damages from Fox and five individuals, including on-air hosts and one-time lawyers for former President Donald Trump. It's unclear whether Fox will similarly settle with Smartmatic, but some experts not involved in the case say the Dominion deal, which is the largest ever defamation settlement publicly announced by an American media company, could grease the skids for an even bigger Fox payout for Smartmatic. And that may not even be the worst of it. Tucker Carlson has been part of sexual harassment allegations before. There are new allegations that sexual misconduct continued at Fox News Channel years after the revelations that led to the departure of CEO Roger Ailes. The lawsuit also accuses current on-air personalities, including Tucker Carlson and Sean Hannity, of sexual harassment. Kathy Aru, a co-plaintiff in the lawsuit, alleges she was sexually harassed by at least four men there. She says Tucker Carlson featured her on his show less after she refused his sexual advances. And now, the Los Angeles Times is reporting that Rupert Murdoch, the Fox Corporation chairman, made the decision himself and that it was related to the discrimination lawsuit filed by Abby Grossberg, who says that she was bullied and subjected to anti-Semitic comments. Fox also faces another lawsuit from a former female producer who alleges she was exposed to sexism at Fox and unjustly fired after she objected to what she claims were efforts to pressure her into giving misleading testimony in the Dominion case. Fox has called her allegations baseless. That lawsuit, of course, inspired another one from Abby Grossberg, one of his senior producers who was fired. The bottom line is Tucker Carlson wasn't only a strategic and political liability with Donald Trump. He wasn't only a pain in management's ass. He was also an ongoing legal and public relations nightmare. Murdoch seems to have reached the conclusion that they couldn't continue to defend this guy and have him be associated with their company. Of course, the bad news for Fox in all of this is that Tucker has even less reason now to try and defend the company if he gets deposed in upcoming lawsuits. So Fox may have been cutting their losses, but there still may be a lot more pain for them ahead. And really, it couldn't have happened to a nicer set of individuals.